KFR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Friday Eve everyone. We are waking up to mostly clear skies at this moment over downtown Baltimore at the Inner Harbor. The current temperature this morning is at 60 degrees, so we are feeling about 5 to 10 degrees cooler across the board this morning and notice our lower dew points. Yesterday they were well into the 60s. That's not the case today, so that's why it's not feeling as muggy as it was yesterday morning and certainly this afternoon. It's not going to be feeling as humid right now. Our wake up temps across the board sitting in the mid 60s up and down the eastern shore, 61 degrees in Elkton, 60 over towards Columbia. And good morning to everyone in Westminster, holding strong to 63. And here's a glance at our dew point values, even upper 40s closer to the state line. So there is some drier air in place, but we do have an area of low pressure that's going to impact us throughout the day today, sparking some rounds of showers and even some potentially strong thunderstorms. But overall, the hair cast not looking terrible as dew points today mostly set, stay set up in the 50s. Your school day forecast, the kids will definitely want the rain jacket before they leave the house this morning as some scattered showers will start to work in right around 9 to 10 o'clock. So by late morning, a lot of the area should be seeing some of these showers glide through, persisting throughout lunchtime. And then for the bus ride home, a few isolated showers, perhaps even some rumbles of thunder, not out of the question. And it's all associated with this warm front that's actually draped uh, over the state of Maryland this morning, extending out towards the Ohio River Valley. You can see the frequent lightning strikes, plenty of thunderstorm activity down towards the Tennessee River Valley and actually Nashville and even Clarksville areas further southwest of us dealt with multiple tornado warnings yesterday. The, to the tornado warning for us here today is low, but it's not zero. So make sure you have ways to receive your weather alerts. But here's the latest look at future casts. We will be dealing Dealing with widespread showers, even some embedded rumbles of thunder by mid to late morning that persists throughout early afternoon with some hit or miss uh, lingering rain showers by this evening, right around five to six o'clock. We could encounter some isolated strong to severe thunderstorms. Most of it will look to be to the south of us. It really depends on how much rainfall we get throughout the morning that could really limit our uh, instability levels getting into the afternoon, but into your Friday still dealing with the potential of an isolated pop up shower thunderstorm and then we briefly dry things out heading into the start of the weekend. But that's why the Storm Prediction Center has issued a level two risk. That's a slight risk. So damaging wind and large hail, even isolated flooding, not out of the question, especially right around the metro southward. That's going to be the better opportunity to see some strong to severe storms. Mother's Day, a few showers are possible, then drying things out early next week and warming up.